Welcome back to the Bricks. Ken Boyer here for your quick Bricks update. Um, giving a, a quick analysis on the game we just finished watching. Uh, Michigan eking out a 57-58. A we ain't over there um, visiting. Um, Michigan State Spartans. Now, um, great, great game. Typical Big Ten hard-nosed, hard hard-fought fought game. And um, Wolverines were able to come in, come up on the winning side of this contest. Um, um, sort of redemption for the um, over a little over two weeks ago, the the thrashing they received in up in East Lansing by the Spartans. And um, thanks to their All-American, in my opinion, Big Ten and National Player of the Year, Trey Burke, with 27 points, eight rebounds, and, um, five steals. You know, um, none more important than those um, five steals, especially the last two that he had um, within the last minute of the game. Um, Big time player, big time plays, um, made big play after big play that really just saved the Wolverines and pulled them from the jaws of defeat. That seemed like, you know, uh, State had pretty much control of, of this game from, from start to finish. I mean, but um, the Wolverines were a lot more aggressive in the second half. Going in, they were down by three points. Um, John Beeline made a, a big time switch in taking out Nick Stauskas out of the starting lineup and putting in Karis LeVert, which ultimately helped their defense um, tremendously. You know, um, because Nick Stauskas, I mean, if he's not taking the big shots and, and making three pointers or being aggressive driving to the hole, I mean, he's really a, a liability out there. He, he doesn't match Karis LeVert when it comes to defensive intensity. And Karis LeVert, shows no fear puts the ball on the on the floor and um a couple times he made a lot of great decisions and when getting rebounds pulling the ball out setting up plays and things like that uh, which is his point guard skills that they recruited him for but he's been more in the mode of, a, of the two guard now he's developing to that since he's grown a couple inches um since he's been in at michigan but um even though it doesn't seem like it's seen that he's still <laughs> really on the light side when it comes to you know the stature and, and weight but um just overall, you know, brilliant, um, brilliant call by John B. Lyon, giving um, Mitch McGarry more minutes um, in, re in replacement of, of Jory Morgan, who, who played a, a, a pretty good game. But um, Mitch McGarry, um, energy, energy, energy. That was the theme to this game. Energy. I mean, the Michigan Wolverines came out with so much more energy than they had um, before in the, in the previous contest, even with in the um, debacle they just had um, against Penn State a couple of days ago. That really seemed like it, it doomed the Wolverines, it, at least their chances to win the Big Ten championship. But when the Wolverines come to play and bring that type of energy, Energy and intensity and their all-american player shows up for him like he, he like he's done and um, these guys really play with their heart and their intensity of, of a lion or rather Wolverine man I feel like this team could be any team in the country very entertaining game hard-fought game um, the the Spartans lo lost over 50% of their offense and Gary Harris and Adrian Payne when they were forced to sit on the bench in the second half and, and allowed Wolverines to creep up and get a little bit of momentum but even when um, Tom Mizzo had to put them back into the game. They had to play through that, you know, foul trouble through the rest of the game. So, I mean, it, it really, everything seemed to fall, you know, in the place for the Wolverines. You know, they had the, the crowd on their side and the crowd got into it. And they had the energy, man. The key to the Wolverines is energy. Bringing that intensity, you have the skill and the talent level there to match up with anyone. I mean, it, the Wolverines didn't make a three-point shot in this entire game. And they were still able to pull out and come out with the win. You know, Adrian Pay Payne made a couple threes in the first half. You know, <laughs> um, they're a they're big man for the Spartans. I mean, if the Wolverines bring their intensity and their energy, man, they I don't think it's a team out there in the country that they can't beat. So, um, uh, big ups to the Wolverines for pulling off that win. Great victory, great redemption for the Wolverines that should propel them into um, the rest of the um, way in the Big Ten. Um, I, I feel that they should go undefeated. If they bring that same intensity to do what they um supposed to do, they have Indiana at home at the end of the regular season. I don't know they have Purdue coming up in a couple days, but I feel like that should be a win. If they play the way that they're supposed to play and bring their energy, man, <laughs> the sky's the limit for this team. Man. I, I feel like they, they can go undefeated, or they should, going into the NCAA tournament, setting themselves up for a one seed if they're able to do that. And and, and the rest is history from there. Um, this is Ken Boyer signing on for BPR Studios. Quick Bricks update. We'll see you soon.